Hi, this is John with Fix-It Planet. Today we're going to take a look at this uh, H170 Pro Gaming motherboard. This customer brought it in. It's got a blown MOSFET. It's right there. So there's not a lot of troubleshooting needed here. We're just going to go straight in and we're going to take... Uh, a donor board and pull this MOSFET off and uh, replace the blown one on their motherboard. This is our donor board. Now you can use a preheater uh, to uh, you know preheat the motherboard and um, that will help these type of components to come off quicker but I don't have a preheater so we're just going to start with this board cold it's a really thick board it's gonna have a lot of thermal mass so I'm gonna use the, um, the hot air station and I'm gonna gradually warm it up a little bit uh, and then eventually, after it's sufficiently warmed up, I'm going to bring the nozzle in very close. And um, we'll be able to pull it off shortly. So these boards are were actually cold because the uh, air conditioning is on and they took a little bit of time to actually get warmed up so it does add a few minutes to the process So we're actually using a Hakko FR802 hot air station. We're at, I believe, um, 800 degrees, maybe 850 or something like that. And I think I have the air set on about 15, maybe 20 for the airflow. All right, we've got that off of the donor board, so we're going to go ahead and pull this blown MOSFET off of the uh, dead motherboard. And prep it and get it ready for the new MOSFET. So I started to heat this up and do this before I even... I wasn't even going to do the video, but then I, I changed my mind. And uh, decided we're gonna we're gonna do this video because I don't you know I don't get to show a lot of this kind of stuff on uh, on these videos and I thought well this is pretty straightforward it ought to make it easy to do this video so um, there is some plastics uh, all very very close to this MOSFET. And uh, so we need to, we're going to shield those off with some Kapton tape. And um, one of the connectors for the CPU fan on the right, just above the, uh, in the right, top right corner there, got a little bit melted, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad enough that, you know, the connector won't still work and everything. It's more of a cosmetic thing, but we don't want to do any more than, than we, then we, if we can avoid it. We've also got a few components, some resistors and capacitor nearby. We want to keep our eyes on those and make sure we don't blow them away. So again, this motherboard is, is cold. We're going to come in gradually with the hot air station. Bring the nozzle in a little bit closer, gradually, as it begins to warm up.
So we're going to use the tweezers um, like we did on the other one, except I won't be able to grab the, the actual MOSFET. I'll have to grab it by the leg. It's really crowded. Okay, now that we've got that off, we're going to go ahead and uh, just put a little bit of flux on the surface area here, and um, we'll add some fresh solder. And get this surface area prepped for the new MOSFET. It is actually a transistor. So, whatever you prefer to call it. Okay, we've got our surface area prepped and ready. Now we can bring our MOSFET in. Just going to get it lined up before we start with the hot air. We'll use the hot air to flow it back into place, and we'll use our tweezers to hold it steady. So as the solder starts to melt, it'll want to sort of slide around a little bit. So we want to make sure that we hold on to it with the tweezers and keep it from moving around too much. So the surface area underneath the larger area not the two legs, but the larger area is um, going to have a higher thermal mass and take longer to uh, melt. As you can see, it is beginning to melt now. And the two legs started melting sooner because they have a lower thermal mass. Now that that's in place, we're going to go ahead and touch up the legs. Those two legs, we just want to take the soldering iron and some fresh solder a little bit of flux and we're just going to make sure that they have a, a nice uh, solid solder joint.
All right, now that we've flowed some solder over each one of those legs, we are good to go. We'll clean this motherboard up, get all that extra leftover flux residue off of there, nice and clean, and then we're gonna pop it into the case. Okay, so we've only hooked up uh, just some of the bare necessities. We've got the RAM installed, we've got the solid state drive connected and the power supply. Okay, we can see this powering on and it is posting. We are going to want to um, reset the BIOS. So we'll go inside here. We'll just load the defaults, save and exit. So you can see we're booting into Windows now. And we're at the main screen. Okay, we're going to go ahead and shut this down now. And then we are going to go ahead and hook up his video card and all of the other fan, case fans and, and all of the other peripherals. Get everything installed properly so that we can put the close it up and give it back to him. And there it looks nice. It's booting up. This is using his video card, not the onboard video card from the motherboard. So we're good to go. We're going to shut it down. Hopefully you found this video interesting. And if you did, we appreciate it. If you like, share, and subscribe. And that really helps us out when you do that. And we thanks, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.